Okay, so our main focus right now is England, and we know that England had their first attempt to claim land in the Americas with the story of the lost colony of Roanoke back in 1587. And we know that that ended so terribly bad, and that ended, as we say, as an epic failure. But if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And England, under the rule of King James I, will indeed try again in 1607 and will have their first successful settlement. And that settlement was named after King James. They named it Jamestown. And Jamestown helped England start their very first colony, Virginia. And we know that this is connected to a famous story, a famous story that we will share in a minute, and you will get to watch that video today. Now, through the story of Sketch to Stretch that we did, you should know the answer to these four questions. So let's go through them. What was the name of England's first successful settlement? We know that they named that town or that village Jamestown after King James I of England. What were the men and boys looking for? Well, we know the 105 men and boys that sailed across the Atlantic on the three ships were looking for gold. Unfortunately, they were so focused on finding gold, they didn't bother to plant food and prepare for winter. And so that first winter, half of them died. Lucky for them, they decided to find a leader to keep them under control. They chose John Smith. Unfortunately, John Smith got captured by Native Americans, but with some help was rescued, and that created a peaceful relationship with the Native Americans after that. And so with the help of the Native Americans, what did the colonists eventually learn how to grow, which was as valuable as gold? They never did find gold, but they did learn how to grow tobacco. And you can see what a tobacco plant would have looked like. This Growing and selling of tobacco helped to make Jamestown a successful settlement and worth the money for England. And what famous story is connected to the story of Jamestown? Well, the one that saved John Smith was none other than Pocahontas. And so this, ladies and gentlemen, will be the video that you're going to watch. Now, the video that you're going to watch about Pocahontas is really, really awesome, but it's a little bit confusing, so I want to explain it to you. What's going to happen is, um, let me think about this. How do I explain this? Um, first of all, if you've seen Pocahontas, the Disney version, please ignore what the Disney version says. They are not accurate. They are indeed wrong. And in the Disney version, I think they show that Pocahontas and John Smith fall in love and have a, a love relationship. And that is not the case. John Smith and Pocahontas do love one another, but they love one another more as brother and sister. In fact, when Pocahontas stops her father from killing John Smith, her father, Chief Powhatan, says, okay, I won't kill him. I'll adopt him and make him my son. So kind of officially in the eyes of the Native Americans, Pocahontas and John Smith were brother and sister. When John Smith and Pocahontas first met, Pocahontas was about your age, about 12 years old. John Smith was a grown man. They did not fall in love. However, what is confusing is Pocahontas does fall in love with a man named John, a different man named John. There's Johns everywhere. His name, his real name is actually Jack Rolf, but he's a Jack that goes by the nickname John. So she will meet and fall in love with John who goes by Jack, lucky for us. Actually, his name, excuse me, his name is John Rolf, but he goes by the nickname Jack, I said that backwards, which is good because when they talk about Jack, we know this is the one she falls in love with and marries, and they have a son together. Their son is Tom. When the movie starts, Tom and his parents, Pocahontas and Jack, are on a ship, leaving Virginia and heading to London, England where Pocahontas is a celebrity. She is the famous Indian princess that saved John Smith's life. However, shortly after arriving in England, Pocahontas gets very, very sick. She also meets up with her old friend, her brother, John Smith, and she is shocked to see him because she for many years believed him to be dead. So what the rest of the story does is they ask 
um, Pocahontas's husband, Jack, how did John Smith and Pocahontas meet? And so most of the story is a flashback in time to see how Pocahontas and John Smith met when Pocahontas was just a young girl. You'll also find out why she thought John Smith was dead all of these years, and you'll find out if she ever recovers from her illness. So the next thing you're going to watch is the story of Pocahontas. Maybe. 